This is going to be a very quick video showing you how to remove fisheye with Adobe After Effects. We've got our GoPro footage loaded onto a new comp. It's the only thing on the comp down here. What we're going to do, select that, then go Effect, Distortion, Distort, Optic Compensation, hit that, that loads it into our effect control editor. We're then going to kick reverse lens distortion and turn up the field of view. Now it really helps the first time you do this to do it with something with some straight lines in the video. This way you can get a very good idea of what the optimal angle is for this field of view slider. I find it to be somewhere in the 70s. You can see as I get to about 75, the water line there, the horizon line starts to become pretty straight. So somewhere around 73 or 70, 75 seems to be pretty good for me. But again, depending on what resolution you're using or uh, what field of view you're using, you may want to play with this a little bit. Now we can play back the video. And you can see the difference between the two video clips. It's worth explaining a little bit about how this works. Basically, it stretches the outside edges of the image bigger. So it takes the two top corners and the two bottom corners and stretches them out. This means that you actually end up losing quality in the sides of the video. If I toggle this effect off, you can see that the edges of the video look much sharper when the optics compensation is turned off. So there's off and there's on. Now if you wanted to fix this shooting all your video in something like 2.7K and then scaling it to 1080p as you do the optics compensation would fix this and would retain much, much higher image quality in the sides of your shot. This was another GoPro tips and tricks video. If you've enjoyed it, please make sure you check out my channel for lots more videos, like the video and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and tell me, do you or have you ever edited using Adobe After Effects? Until next time, thank you very much for watching.